Hey folks, Jerome Forrest here. It is 3.58 p.m. on September 7, 2023 in West End, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 20 degrees outside and a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.5 kilometers starting by the Transit bus stop at Robson and Cardero, then stroll southeast on Robson, northeast on Granville, ending my trek at Vancouver City Centre SkyTrain Station. If you would like to support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. To receive updates, follow me on Instagram at jforcewood. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. Just walking along Robson Street right now. So come along with me for this narrated walk. <laughs> Let's go. And here is the lone tree, the lone bench. Looks like someone else brought an additional bench. This will be fun. I'm sure it'll be there for a few days, <laughs> but not forever. <laughs> someone will come along and pick that up and take it home. <laughs> Let's keep walking here along Robson Street. Uh, crossing Brylton right now. And we'll continue on the uphill section of Robson Street here. For Vancouver, I, this isn't a problem. We don't really feel the hills anymore. Once we get used to it, we still will breathe a little heavier, but that's about it. <laughs> For tourists, if you're not used to walking up and down hills, different story altogether. Just be prepared to take breaks if you need to. And that's the best way to enjoy Vancouver, especially when you're faced with a lot of hills. <laughs> and that's great town. Great town. It's around 18 degrees outside today, and it was partly cloudy in the morning, but it's nice and sunny now, so definitely enjoying it. In fact, let's check my phone. See if it's got a little warmer than 18 degrees now. Yeah, it's 19 degrees now. So it's warming up. I tend to reserve my change for people who've earned it, like uh, buskers. And if I do give to a charitable do donation to help out the homeless, I'll give it to one of the homeless shelters. Because they're much more in need. So the intersection of Jervis and Robson. I'll continue along Robson Street here. This section of Robson Street, now that we passed Jervis, is less restaurants, there's still a few, and more services. So there's a few coffee shops too, 
which are kind of between restaurants and drinking places <laughs> or beverage stores. <laughs> and it is pumpkin spice season because it's after Labor Day and it's before <laughs> uh, Remembrance Day. It's usually when the pumpkin spice rains. Most of the pumpkin spice disappears after the Thanksgiving holiday in October, but some of it sticks around until around November before they transition after, a week after Remembrance Day into uh, the more Christmassy type of drinks. This helps mark an early <laughs> fall sign or early sign that fall is coming. Here comes your Tim Hortons pumpkin spice. Blends has got pumpkin spice though too. And a whole bunch of other places have pumpkin spice. Very popular amongst Canadians. This will be the intersection of Butte and Robson Street. And you can see it's quite busy over here. I'm going to go meet Bay right now over at uh, Pacific Center Mall. Bay is going to chill out in the food court while I'm uh, finishing off this uh, video for you folks. <laughs> and you'll see just how busy it does get down here. This is Robson is one of our busier streets. Robson and Granville would each be the equivalent of, well Robson, if you wanted a Toronto equivalent for Robson Street in the downtown core, uh, Queen West, with Queen Street West would be the Robson equivalent, and then Granville of course would be the Young Street equivalent. <laughs> Well, Robson is nowhere near as long as Queen Street West is. Very long street. Several different neighborhoods in my old hometown. Well, we're over here in Vancouver now and I'm loving it. <laughs> Not from down Toronto. Toronto's a great town. But uh, this is where we have chosen to reside. So this is where we are now. <laughs> I definitely enjoy West Coast life just as much, if not a little bit more than Toronto, but that's just because I'm gagging. <laughs> 10 months in after being away for over 20 years. I'll keep walking down Robson Street here. But I would admit, if I had the choice between the hustle that's constantly in Toronto right now, as well as the Toronto homeless crisis that's in that city right now as well. I'd much rather be over here in Vancouver. There's a lot of issues that Toronto needs to resolve that Vancouver has already resolved. One of those issues would be <laughs> cell phone service for safety in the subway tunnels. Over here in Vancouver that's not a problem. But over in Toronto now they've only resolved for Freedom Mobile and Rogers Mobile and that just happened recently uh, to have access in the subway tunnels. But the other major stations like Bell and TELUS still don't have access. So people can't use their, a lot of people still can't use their cell phones underground. And, uh, in Toronto, but of course over here in Vancouver, it's been integrated for over two decades now. You've been able to use your cell phone down in the subway tunnel, so very different. This would be the intersection of Thurlow and Robson Street. And we're just waiting for the light to change. There it is. Let's keep going. Looks like there's a few tourists who did a little bit of shopping in the neighborhood right now. 
Good to see you. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> if she doesn't want to be filmed, she said, it's not cool, man. It's just like, if you don't want to be filmed, then don't be out on the street. Because all of these buildings are filming you as well. And there is active live streams on this street on YouTube. <laughs> so. <laughs> realize your environment. <laughs> Please realize your environment. <laughs> Most Vancouverites do. Of course, that would be a tourist. I'll keep going here. I'm probably a tourist from Toronto. <laughs> the way their accent was going. <laughs> I always uh, get a kick when Ken from the Ken Continuum puts up a bunch of videos. He's legally allowed to film in public. It's his constitutional right <laughs> in Toronto. And people will come up to him and say, you can't film here. And all he's doing is walking down the street filming a walk. <laughs> and they'll get rude without understanding that not only is that one camera walking down the street but there's like 80 other cameras on you in any major city on any street if you're in a downtown core <laughs> but even if you're in suburban areas too like people just don't understand the amount of cameras that are around you anyways this is the intersection of robson and Burrard street and we'll head on over through Robson Square. We'll keep walking here along Robson Street. Up ahead of us would be Hornby Street. And this space hasn't filled up yet. I thought it would fill up faster, this prime retail space. But uh, hasn't filled up yet for a few months now. So fingers crossed and knock on wood, someone comes and takes that space. <laughs> Knocked on my thick skull and I said knocked on wood. <laughs> And you want to send me this cat? We'll head on down Hornby Street here. Ask Cafe Row, which has the Bellagio Cafe. The Falberg Cafe, <laughs> as well as the Cafe Artigio, <laughs> Artigiano. I was gonna kick out of that. And that's something that's uh, very common that you'll see here in Vancouver. Um, different stores clumping together. Doesn't necessarily work in other cities, but it seems to work over here. Here would be where you could. Uh, Get your valet for the Fairmont Hotel Vancouver, one of the bougier hotels in Vancouver. And Fairmont also being considered a bougier brand across Canada. Of course, there is way more affluent hotels as well. <laughs> but these are the ones that stand out the most because the Fairmont has a, a long history in Canada. And I'll let you look up Fairmont Hotels and its long history. I can give you a hint, it's connected to CN Railways. Oh, 
Oh, keep walking here. This would be the intersection of West Georgia and Hornby Street. And we'll cross Hornby and continue down West Georgia. Looks like the food truck has changed. They got a new food cart over here. Let's see if it's, yeah, it's a La Taqueria. They got a new food cart. Very nice. It's pink now and it's bigger. <laughs> wow. Very cool. Good on you. They've definitely been doing something good. Pumping out tacos and burritos and quesadillas. <laughs> You can find the Taqueria over on Yukon Street as well. At Yukon and West Broadway. Very good. Definitely recommend their burritos. One of the better burritos I've had in town. I haven't had a bad burrito. This is just better and good. <laughs> so this is the intersection of Howe Street and West Georgia. And we'll just wait. It's our turn. Keep walking here. Along West Georgia Street. Is it going to be a fire truck? Is it going to be an ambulance? Is it going to be a police car? Is it going to be a mix? And it's a fire truck today! Those guys definitely got a handle on things, so we don't have to worry about that. I'll head on down the stairs. And two clicks and we're back up. There's the crowd coming out of the SkyTrain. That would be one of the subway sections. And here's the CF Pacific Center. So I'm going to head on in here into the urban eatery. But uh, anyways, folks, uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay, so just remember to share, like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, take care. Have a good day.